Looks like the Gemini 3.0 Pro launch is quite imminent because the final checkpoints are being tested and we're now seeing the Gemini 3.0 Pro model appearing inside Gemini Enterprise via the general model selector as well as through the Gemini app on the mobile. This is where you can now get certain generations by this model within the canvas tool and the results from the checkpoints are remarkably strong. I previously mentioned that some recent checkpoints were showing a drop off in quality and that seems to be true but the versions being ran throughout canvas has been genuinely solid. The reasons why the newer checkpoints are appearing to be sluggish is because Google has been heavily quantizing them. It's cheaper to serve at scale which equals lower inference cost but also a short term hit to quality which is why we're seeing that drop off with these checkpoints. It's part of the performance to cost optimization strategy that Google tends to work with and it's overall used to build momentum for the official launch. To access the new Gemini 3.0 Pro preview, you need to download the Gemini app on your mobile device, whether that's Android or iOS, sign in to your Google account, switch to the canvas mode, and in the model selector, make sure you choose Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then you can enter in your prompt and wait for your response. What's happening is that Google is using a router system so your app will dynamically serve different checkpoints depending on the load and region. This means results can vary and sometimes feel influenced by prompt structure and not fully confirmed yet, but definitely noticeable. And you can see that this is not a typical 2.5 Pro model generation. It is something that was generated using the 3.0 checkpoints. And that is how you can access these new checkpoints within the Gemini Canvas app. And there are other ways to access these new model checkpoints. You can use Design Arena where you can generate with these new checkpoints and get access to the Gemini 3.0 Pro model. You can also use something like LM Arena, which is where you can get generations with these checkpoints to generate various sorts of components and apps. Let's take a look at this new generation of a web-based Windows operating system, which looks absolutely amazing. This is the strongest results we've ever seen since the A-B testing on AI Studio, where it was able to now generate a full-on clone of a browser OS. And it is amazing because you also have a VS Code that it generated a calculator you have a web browser a notepad settings and multiple applications that were fully configured to mimic what a windows operating system looks like and this is probably the best operating system i've seen since that mac os one that we've covered before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free this is a mac os clone that it generated with this recent canvas uh, checkpoint and it does look a lot better than the previous one we saw because it was able to mimic exactly what the mac os operating system is and overall it was able to do a great job replicating all the apps system this is not a crazy benchmark to test a model on but it just showcases how well the model is in terms of its coding capabilities in terms of how proficient it is with generating code and how it's able to creatively focus on generating the code itself but overall, its SVG and general front-end capabilities are generally impressive. This model is producing cleaner structure and more consistent styling and far more coherent components. And this is something that is better than the recent layouts that we have seen with other checkpoints. The overall output from the canvas in particular is showcasing creativity, technical accuracy, and better generations compared to what we saw with the previous checkpoints. But on a related note, Everything is still pointing towards a potential November 18th rollout. This is because network logs are showcasing these coordinated dates and a preparation where there might be a dual release of the Gemini 3 Pro plus the Nano Banana 2 model, which looks like it's effectively confirmed. Just take a look at this example where the Gemini 3.0 was able to create this beautiful website within the canvas. Now, this was something that was sent into the mobile device, but you can share the prompt so that it's accessible through the web. This is a preview of this website that was generated and the results are remarkable from its front end design perspective. The model was able to produce the layout, the color palettes, the typography and the component structure that feels deliberately crafted, never seen before in previous generations with any model. The SVG handling in this particular design looks absolutely great with its design in certain components with the icons 
And you can see that it did a great job with the structure and it does not look like an AI generated website. Here is another example of a landing page generated where it was requested to create a front end developer to make a modern, stunning and highly creative 3D model website. And this is where the results are exceptional because the front end obviously looks great. But the fact that it was able to add animated components to this landing page is just amazing. In terms of SVG, it also does quite remarkably well because in this case, it was able to create an animated fan in SVG code. It was asked to create a simple animation of a fan and you can see it was able to output the clean, well-structured code for it that is fully functional. And it just goes to show that this model is competent with code generation. But the fact that you can just go from a single prompt where you can tell it to create an aesthetic website for a Dutch modern museum and it's able to output something like this is just truly insane. Because a few years ago, just maybe one or two years ago, we were simply just prompting AI models to generate snake games. But now we have it so that it generates a full on aesthetic landing page, which would take a couple of hours for a regular developer to actually create. The design is aesthetic in this case and highly informative with the clear layout and the minimal visual clutter. So overall, this is just great to see how far AI has come over the last couple of years. Let's take a look at this next demo. This is not an image, it's an SVG generated by Gemini 3.0 Pro. It's an iPhone 16 SVG that was created entirely by this new checkpoint within the canvas. The level of detail and accuracy is just incredible because at a first glance, it is something that would be hard to distinguish if it's an actual image or an SVG generated code of an iPhone. And overall, it just looks really well structured, clean, and surprisingly precise for an AI generated SVG. In addition to the checkpoints currently being tested in the canvas, there are also a couple of new checkpoints that are being tested through Ella Marina as well as Design Arena, including Rift Runner, you have Tensor, and Whisperfall. All of these are being tested like the previous checkpoints, but they lack the quality that we saw with the other checkpoints and it is slightly behind the quality of what we saw with the canvas checkpoint. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the new Gemini 3.0 model. This is something that will be released really soon and it's getting really exciting. But I highly recommend that you also test it out within the canvas because this is a free and easy way for you to access the new Gemini checkpoint within the Google app, which you can access completely for free. And I'll leave links to these other ways for you to access the checkpoints like Ella Marina as well as the design arena. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. Make sure you join the newsletter, join and follow us on the second channel where we're constantly posting on a daily basis. Subscribe to the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the main channel. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. With that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.